What's up guys, Max here with a quick update on what's been going on with Street Fighter V. As many of you probably saw earlier today on the channel, the official Street Fighter V story mode launch trailer went up, giving us a small taste of what we can expect from the story mode itself, as well as some other shots of Yurian and Jury in-game, which was very nice. I was going to do a reaction, but I figured it was going to be something that I had kind of already seen already, and the story mode's going to be coming very soon. In fact, really soon, because the update files went out for PC, and of course, people started going crazy with all the new content that's been added to Street Fighter V, and let's start talking about it and taking a look. First and foremost, Jury and Yurian are in there because they are playable in the story mode. You can actually play as these characters, but they are a work in progress and are not finished, but for the most part, you can get a pretty good idea of what they're all about. There's also quite a bit of costumes that are in there that were not ever present before in the game, including summer outfits for a majority of characters and some things that we have never seen before which you can see on screen right now. But the big ones are that we're able to see what moves each character has in terms of Jury and Yurian, which are going to be the two last characters. Jury does retain a lot of what makes Jury Jury in this game, but man, the animation on her specials and what she overall looks like just looks dramatically different in this video that was taken from the modded PC version of the game. The thing I really wanted to make this video to talk about is Yurian. Now, Yurian in-game, especially from the story mode trailer looked okay. I was like, okay, this is kind of awesome, but they started showing off some of his alternate costumes, his business suit. He literally has like a pimp outfit, and he also has another outfit that is just bare-skinned ass thong man Yurian. And now that we actually have Yurian fully represented from the originality he was in the Street Fighter 3 series, there is only one question that remains. Will there be dick physics? Seriously though, this character model blows my mind. In terms of the overall quality of the character models, it seems that they're just getting better and better as time goes forward with Street Fighter V, almost to the point of which it looks like completely different people were modeling some characters in this game. And that actually does have quite a bit of truth to it because some people have come out and said that they were responsible for certain character models throughout the game, and they are completely separate contracted workers that don't even live anywhere close to Capcom Japan, aren't Japanese, and are just people around the world that are really Really good at 3D modeling. I do have to say, whoever the hell is doing Jury and whoever the hell's doing Yurian, this stuff looks freaking fantastic. Please let them continue because I'm being brutally, brutally, brutally honest here. Considering all the characters in Street Fighter 4, the transitions that some characters made from 2D over to 3D from the Street Fighter 3 series, which is kind of hard to do considering the art in the Street Fighter 3 series is incredible, Yurian probably takes the cake, especially with his costume of him in his classic outfit with, well, not much of an outfit, just the loincloth. This guy looks so, so authentic to his original Street Fighter 3 sprite that it blows my mind especially considering some of the other character models that were okay, but not great. It's one of the things that I have a big gripe about with Street Fighter V, but geez, they knocked it out of the park with Yurian. And I'm probably the most excited to play this character just based on the fact that he looks this way. And also considering that he seems to be fairly identical to his Yurian self in the previous Street Fighter III games. Most of his moves are charge motion. He has the fireballs, which are regular like quarter motions, but he does modify them when he goes into his V skin. Skill. So he can actually modify special moves while after using a V skill, and it has been shown that his V trigger is an Aegis Reflector of some kind, but there isn't any V trigger activation at the moment. So that's going to be interesting. There's also another small hint about Irian that underneath his regular character model, his base character model, which has the business suit, his old classic character model, the one with the loincloth, is actually underneath that. It's fully modeled underneath the suit, or at least some of the 3D rendering programs can kind of show that this is happening already, so we don't have actual confirmation of this, but it's looking to be that Yurian is going to blast out of his suit at some point, maybe in V-Trigger, and then completely expose his body like he did in the old Street Fighter 3 games to be the totally nude-ass nude Yurian that we remember from those old games. Either way, we were talking about this update before, but this is easily some of the most stuff that's been added to Street Fighter 5 yet, because the story mode is also included, and then Ibuki and Balrog are going to be available later tonight at around midnight pacific time however the story mode if you did download the update is playable right now on playstation 4 at least and i'm going to be streaming that pretty much as soon as i'm done making this video as always guys thank you a ton for watching jury and yurian look to be some of the best characters i've seen in street fighter 5 so far in terms of a visual design and animation so this game is pulling me back in and this is 
exactly what Capcom needs to do. I'll be back with more Street Fighter V updates as soon as possible. Hopefully you guys did enjoy a whole bunch of these leaks and what's going on. And I'll be back soon as well with that story mode playthrough. My name is Max, and I'll see you guys next time.